from the Vision of St. Louis. This is your 24-hour news source. Good evening, I'm Mary Phelan. There is good news tonight for football fans in the St. Louis area. NFL Commissioner Paul Tagliabue says team owners have reached a tentative settlement with the Players Union, which could end the labor dispute between the two sides. That dispute has been the major stumbling block to expansion. NASA says the first shuttle launch of the new year is set for January 13th. The shuttle Endeavour will leave for a six-day mission, which will allow the astronauts to practice their spacewalking. Stay with us. More news in an hour. I'm Mike Roberts. Look for increasing cloudiness overnight with a low in the upper 20s. From the Vision of St. Louis, this is your 24-hour news source. Good evening, I'm Julius Hunter. Plans are being completed tonight for President Bush to visit U.S. troops in Somalia on New Year's Day. As plans are being completed tonight for U.S. Marines to take two more Somalian towns on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. And former U.S. Congressman from Missouri and Chairman of the House Un-American Activities Committee, Richard Eichhorn, is in critical condition and in a coma tonight after suffering a heart attack. More news in an hour. It has been a long time coming. For five long years, the National Football League team owners and the Players Union have been locked in a labor dispute. That dispute has been the major stumbling block, the biggest reason for a delay in the NFL expansion. And thus, a new team in St. Louis. But tonight, there's finally some good news. That stumbling block could soon be past history. We'll explain on Channel 4 News coming up at 10 o'clock. Also tonight, a refreshing story of waiting for a newborn. A real big newborn. Join us for Channel 4 News at 10. I'm Mike Roberts. It'll be cloudy and windy tomorrow with temperatures falling all day. How serious is the so-called hepatitis epidemic in the St. Louis area? Well, judging by the number of local health officials...